This video is about what could be described as a really stupid military confrontation called the pig war. Which pig war, you might ask? I'm not talking about the pig war of 1555 to 58, also called the Saukrieg, a feud between the Bishop of Meissen and the family of his predecessor. I'm neither talking about the pig war of 1906 to 1908, a trade war between Austria-Hungary and the Kingdom of Serbia. I'm going to talk about the pig war of 1859, a border confrontation between the United States of America and then British Canada. By the way, this is a collaboration video with Sephiroth, which has made another video about the stupid war called the War of the Bucket. Click here or uh, down in the description to watch that right now. Go on, I'll be waiting. Okay, back to the pig war of 1859. The war was set on San Juan Island, which is right inside the US border. But back in 1846, uh, this was not the case, or rather the maps of the time wasn't as precise as they are today. And as they settled the Oregon boundary dispute on the 15th of June 1846, it only said that the border should go through the middle of the channel which uh, divides Vancouver Island from the continent. However, there are actually two straits that uh, can be defined to be the middle of the channel. The Harrow Strait along the west side of San Juan Islands and Rosario Strait along the east side. Both Britain and the United States interpreted the middle differently, each to include and claiming ownership of the San Juan Islands. Britain and the US tried to settle the dispute in 1857, but they didn't come to an agreement, and both sides continued to claim serenity over the San Juan Islands. On the British side, the Hudson Bay Company started a sheep farm on the island, and later on some US citizens also settled down on the disputed island. The conflict surrounding the pig started on 15th of June 1859. Lyman Cutler, an American farmer who had moved onto the island, found a black pig rooting in his gardens, eating his potatoes. This, he claims, was not the first occurrence either. Cutler was so upset that he took aim and shot the pig, killing it. It turned out that the pig was uh, the prized possession of an Irishman called Charles Griffin, who was uh, employed by the Hudson Bay Company to run the sheep farm. The two men had lived in peace up until this incident, and Cutler offered $10 in compensation to Griffin. But Griffin was unsatisfied and demanded $100. Following this reply, Cutler angrily refused to pay at all, and it all started to escalate. British authorities threatened to arrest Cutler, and the American settlers called for military protection. Which led to Brigadier General William S. Harney to dispatch 66 American soldiers to the San Juan Islands with orders to prevent the British from landing. Concerned with the new US military presence on the island, the local-led British military sent three warships to counter the Americans. The situation continued to escalate, and by the 10th of August 1859, 461 Americans with 14 cannons were opposed by five British warships mounting seven guns and carrying 2,140 men. Did someone say overreacting? Luckily, local commanding officers on both sides had essentially been given the same orders. Defend yourself, but absolutely do not fire the first shot. For several days, the British and US soldiers were in a tense standoff, but no shots were fired. When news about the crisis eventually reached Washington and London, both sides were shocked and took action to calm down the potentially explosive international incident. US President at the time, James Buchanan, had already his hands full with the nation on the brink of a civil war. 
He sent General Winful Scott to negotiate and resolve the growing crisis. General Scott managed to quickly calm down the situation. And as a result, both sides agreed to retain a joint military occupation of the island until a final settlement could be reached, reducing their presence to a force to no more than 100 men. The English camp was established on the north end of the San Juan island, and the American camp was created on the south end. During the years of joint military occupation, the small British and American units had an amicable mutual social life, visiting one another's camp to celebrate each other's respective national holidays and competing in various athletic competitions. This state of affairs continued for the next 12 years. Then the dispute was peacefully settled by international arbitration. And on October 21, 1872, they decided in favor of the United States. The arbitrator chose the American preferred marine boundary via the Haro Strait to the west of the islands. The Pig War is today commemorated in San Juan Island National Historical Park. And today the Union Jack still flies above the English camp, being raised and lowered daily by park rangers, making it one of few places without diplomatic status where US employees regularly hoist another nation's flag. And that's the Pig War of 1859, a really, really stupid confrontation. But then again, it can easily be argued that war in general is stupid. And many conflicts around the world start out with seemingly idiotic disputes. It's strange to think about how many wars and conflicts there have been up through history. If you look and search in your own local history, you will almost certainly find a war, a battle or armed conflict being fought close by where you live. Let's go outside. I live in Oslo, Norway. Looks peaceful, doesn't it? Of course it hasn't always been like that. Uh, behind me on the fjords during the winter of 1161 there was a big battle on the ice. And the place I'm standing right now was a war cemetery for the German occupying forces during World War II. And many places around the world live of course with far more recent memories of war and conflict than this. Yeah, a bit of seriousness in the end here. Well, I hope you liked this video, and as I mentioned in the start, this is a collaboration video with Sephiroth, so don't forget to click and watch his video on the War of the Bucket, and uh, check out his other videos as well, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, you won't regret it. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>